Have you ever heard that myth that vegans are judgmental? It's, it's going around. I've never seen it myself personally, not online, for sure. We discuss it today. Does being a vegan make you more judgmental, and especially raw vegan, when you think you're elevated up here with clouds coming out your ass? I am a vegan. You are a loser. So back in the day, I remember being pretty judgmental. When I went fruit-based, I, I had this new knowing that I was eating pure food and everything else was trashed, cooked food, and so if I'm grocery shopping, I see somebody else's belt there on the conveyor and I'm like wow really you eat that disgusting I looked like trash though I had a face full of acne can you really judge somebody else when you look that bad not really how do we even know we're on the right path you can't you just gotta tune in there tune that heartstring so I found I was judging people even though I looked like shit eventually failed on the diet and I've tried every diet pretty much every diet out there and I've noticed a couple of interesting facts. When I went full carnivore, I wasn't as judgmental anymore. I think I know why. Once you're on the bottom feeder level, how do you judge people who are above you? If you're a murderer, you're just killing people. It's like, oh, your sandals are kind of mismatched colors. I don't, that's weird, huh? And the sandal guy's like, don't you kill people? Sometimes I kill people. I do it softly, though. I do it humanely, at least. I use a belt. Soft. You ever felt? Here, feel this belt. I don't need to feel your belt. It looks soft, but as soon as you start killing me with it, it's gonna hurt, right? I doubt it. Much. For a little bit. But come on, who are you hurting with those? What is that? A white sandal on the bottom and the other side's like black. It's like so distracting. So in my opinion, when you sloop down, sloop, to the meat sludge region, you're at the bottom. So like looking up, you can't even judge like a standard American diet. Like at least they have plants sometimes. Coca-Cola, that's a plant. Like they're better than you. A standard American, at least they eat less meat. You fell all the way, and I fell for it too. But like the meat is the worst thing, not only for the sludge factor, but also for just death factor and like intuition. Like let's just go away from all that. Like it doesn't feel right at all. And yet keto people in carnies, bless your hearts, but that's the bottom. So it was kind of interesting walking around Thailand. I'm on this carnivore diet and I just felt like I did feel more like part of society because I was on that level again. Everybody's just eating for fun and I was there. I was like, yeah, I get you. Yeah, have some meat. Why not? Deep fry it. In lard though. That's healthy. Grass fed. So now that I'm on this hippie juice fast, I've had some reoccurrences of judgments relapsing. And I'm seeing people, I'm like, that's gross. How could you do that? But the other day, something kicked in. I'm walking with my girlfriend, we're going to shop, and all the restaurants are open. They're allowing people now to sit within 70 feet of each other and eat. You put the mask on first. Can I take it off now? Yeah, between bites, dickhead. So I'm seeing all these people, like they're just, they're having fun. It was good to see people having fun again. Just whatever their, the consequences of those meals had later, let's not even discuss it. But they're, they're relaxing, and it looked fun. I mean, I'm on this fast. It's discipline every day. And I see people having fun eating whatever they wanted. It looked good. I wish I could have had that. All of it looked great. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't having cravings. I get juice every day. It's only 86 days. I haven't lost any weight or nutrients that were stored in my body. Are those free books? Is there any on how to be more vegan? than I already am. Emergence of sociological theory. That sounds so boring. Keep your donors? What the hell? This is the worst. Social theory? So it was the first time in a while that I've seen people destroying their bodies, but I, I didn't feel bad for them. I was like, well, 
Some people, that's just what they want. They want to hang with their friends, eat delicious food. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a level on this plane. You can be there your whole lifetime, and you'll repeat it again next time. <laughs> next life for sure. You could stay there. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what you have to understand. You may have been through a lot of health issues, and so that's your focus this life. I'm only speaking from my own experience because I've been through hell, and so I want to correct that. These people haven't been through that hell. Maybe they've only had like the odd cold every year, a bit of knee pain, like nothing too serious. So they don't even relate it to food. It's like, yeah, this is how we feel. I'm getting older, 31 now. Oh, I should have a bad back. No, you shouldn't, but whatever. You'll discover it next life. I wanna cross this street in dramatic fashion, but there's cops <laughs> with their radar guns. Oh man, they're gonna get me. I go at least 35 when I'm running, I'll be arrested. You know what keeps me humble is just, I don't know that this is the right path. I've had so many doubts even on this juice fast. I'm hoping, I'm putting a lot of faith in some hippie shit right now and hoping that this is actually it. It is detox the whole time. And I just, I didn't go deep enough back in the day. I felt good enough back in the day, but just the skin issues, still the bloating, cravings. I feel like we're overcoming it all now. So for all I know, I'm on the wrong ass path completely. It is sugar that damages everything and I was almost there with the carnivore diet, I doubt it. <laughs> I just feel so much better now, lighthearted in the mind. Energy is just as good except when I'm exhausted for entire weeks at a time <laughs> on this juice fast, but things are heading in the right direction. So I, I feel like this is it. But in general, judgment comes from wanting better for your fellow man. But it's not our choice to make. You have to watch people just suffer, make mistakes. It's like you want to help them. Sorry, buddy. It's like, look both ways before you cross the street. It's like, yeah, whatever, buddy. Oh, no. You could tell people that crack, not the best thing. But some people have to experience crack life. See in that ghetto. See how far will they stoop for their next hit. I bet I'll outdo you. Oh, the things I would do. When it comes to judging people for their diet choices, I'm lenient, somewhat. I just, I want the best for you. I don't want to see animals killed. So that kind of hurts when people do it just for the taste. That's what gets me. It's like, oh, but they're delicious. It's like, seriously? Just go for the vegan option then, even though it's less healthy. Possibly. Genetically modified wheat seitan? That can't be good but at least no animals died, actually a lot died. Oh, a lot died for those, oh, the monocrops. But no one dies for fruit. Not one soul. Fruit is just all giving love. A tree is just like, here you go. Here's a bounty. Just shaking their balls out. Fruit is free. That's like, it's tempted, it's designed. It's the only food we know for sure that's designed to be eaten because a tree is tempting you with it. It's like, here you go, here's a tree. Do you mind just, delivering this seed a little couple yards down there. It's not even far. Just go poo somewhere in the forest, please. And then you do the tree's biddings, and you're good to go. And we're all rewarded. You get the meal, tree gets to have babies, and then you get to eat as babies. Are you kidding yourself? So stop judging everybody. I don't think vegans are more judgmental. I get a lot of carnies who think veganism is the unhealthiest thing you could do. They're judging. We all judge. It's natural, somewhat. It's just the carnies judging. It's funny because they're on the wrong path. And so when you mock truth, it's just cringe. But you'll see it. You'll see it eventually. So what are your thoughts on all that? Down below, posting it. I didn't switch cameras midway through this episode using the same lens as a strange test camera conspiracy style. Thumb up the video anyway. Thumbs down. If you're judging a couple on their anniversary dinner, one's making bacon cupcakes, the other has a fruit palette. It's not even the word. Vegan brain fog got me again. 
That's unfortunate. I had one shot at that outtake. I'm going to leave after you subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. I have a mullet. Mullet.